Pinpoint Weather on NBC5 News is brought to you by the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. Well, as I said, uh, active next 36 hours with snow levels dropping, wind speeds kicking up, and uh, some heavier snow in our area will be possible, especially for your Monday night and Tuesday. Going to be more likely, excuse me, for your Monday night and Tuesday. Winter storm warning in place for the Cascades and areas out west. This is for elevations above 1,500 feet, where we could see up to uh, 6 to 12 inches possible, getting above 4,500 feet could see up to 16 inches of snow as well as some of the wind gusts up to around 35 to 45 miles per hour. Now elevations 500 feet to 1500 feet. We could see those accumulations up to one to four inches. Travel going to be a little bit more difficult to becoming a bit dangerous for your Monday night and Tuesday because of the snow that is expected in our area. So if you are planning on getting out, it's going to be better to do so early today or wait until the storm passes. As we're getting into Wednesday, the rest of the week looks pretty quiet. We'll see wind speeds picking up today, especially east of the Cascades. And again, those uh, wind gusts getting up to around 35 to 45 miles per hour. High surf warning in place for the coastline. Make sure you're staying a little bit offshore uh, with those uh, high waves expected here today. So watching the snow levels today dropping very, very quickly. Cold front's going to be pushing through the area by the late afternoon evening hours, getting already close to 2000 to 1500 feet overnight tonight, seeing those snow levels plummet to around 500 feet, might even dip a little bit lower than that. And then into Tuesday afternoon, staying around 1000 feet. So not too much movement after it drops for tonight. You see Wednesday morning, it's going to drop as well, but we'll be clearing out of that precipitation through Tuesday afternoon. And as we talk about those wind speeds right now, things are calm, a little bit of a breeze along the coast side. But as this cold front pushes through, look at the wind speeds by just over the next couple of hours, ramping up east of the Cascades 15 to 25 miles per hour could get up into that 20 to 30 mile per hour range. That's your sustained winds for this afternoon from the west and west northwest gusts again 45 miles per hour and then wind speeds will taper off a little bit still expecting to stay breezy tonight in through Tuesday and that also the colder air going to make it feel colder out there. Uh, we see already some shower activity picking up north of the Umqua Divide. That's in Douglas County stretching along the coastline. We are expecting this to really pick up here next couple of hours. You're seeing that activity kind of along and east uh, west of the Cascades kind of these showers uh, scattered shower activity lesser precipitation expected east of the mountains, especially with uh, rounds of rain on the way. Our eastern counties won't get much from this system. It's going to be along the Cascades and areas west where we see that rain and snow potential and that snow potential becoming more likely here for tonight into tomorrow morning. As you're getting up and ready for work, you're seeing some heavy snow potential uh, for the morning hours. That's going to be pushing from north to south in through Tuesday morning. We start to see behind that push kind of this scattered activity and diminishing through Tuesday afternoon we will be clearing out of that precipitation through Tuesday. So in terms of snowfall, here's what we're expecting one to two inches around Medford. Again, that's tonight in through your Tuesday morning. Some spots along I-5 Sexton Summit going to Canyon Mountain Pass could see up to one to seven inches, especially up towards Canyon Mountain Pass Roseburg one to two inches Sec uh, Siskiyou Summit three to six inches of snow. So that does lead into getting into some of that dangerous traveling issues. We're looking at the mountain passes along the Cascades, six to 12 inches or more, especially up towards Crater and Diamond Lake. But again, it's going to be clearing out through Tuesday. Then we get a break in that precipitation might have a slight chance for a few showers into Thursday. But it's the morning temperatures for your Wednesday down to 16 degrees. Very cold, but we'll start to gradually warm up with a little bit more cloud cover by the end of the week. So snow expected for the Klamath Basin, just lighter amounts east of the Cascades, windy conditions and some colder temperatures for the next several days. Northern California, rain and snow picking up today. Snow likely early Tuesday and then clearing out. We're kind of 
could could see the potential for some light snow even along the coastline. Again, snow levels dropping to just a few hundred feet uh, that clears out and we see uh, quiet conditions. Maybe some of the showers into Thursday as well.